Hi, I'm Milos Raonic. I'm a professional tennis player. But today, I'm here to talk about interest rates. Borrowing, lending. What do interest rates have to do with all that? Well, it's complicated. Essentially, an interest rate is the cost you pay for borrowing money. Think of it as a compensation to a bank for lending you money to buy things you can't currently afford. But it goes both ways. Banks need money too, so if you save money with them, they'll pay you interest. Rates are set by the Bank of Canada. It's what's called a central bank. In tennis, you need to keep a steady grip on your racket. The student simply shakes hands with the handle of the racket. Not too tight or too loose. Bankers have to do the same with the economy. If bankers set rates too high, the economy cools off. Businesses find it expensive to borrow, so they invest less and hire fewer people. They might even close. But if they set rates too low, the economy is likely to overheat and you end up with higher inflation, which means prices will rise faster, and that means the value of each dollar in your pocket goes down. Not so long ago, the Bank of Canada raised the interest rates a notch, and it was a pretty big deal. Why? Well, items you bought with a variable rate product will end up costing you more money. You'll end up paying higher monthly interest on your mortgage and line of credit. Same goes for the things you're charged to your credit card, like a tennis racket. And if you're the kind of person who saves money, your bank account gets bigger. But the main reason everyone's talking about the rise in interest rates is that it doesn't happen much. Not anymore. My whole generation has grown up with super low rates. Consider this. When I was born in 1990, the interest rate in Canada was in the double digits. When I attended my first tennis camp around 1996, rates were around 5%. At my first amateur match in 2003, interest rates were around 3%. The Bank of Canada started to raise them again after that, but then a few years later, the financial crisis hit, which is about the time I was turning pro. I'm sure they're not related. Anyways, rates fell to just half a percent in Canada. They have never risen above 1% since. With interest rates so low, Canadians have borrowed a lot of money, which was the whole point behind the Bank of Canada cutting rates in the first place. Central bankers wanted to get people spending to get the economy growing again. The problem is the Bank of Canada and most economists never thought the rates would have to stay so low for so long. And now Canadians have become used to borrowing money cheaply. Now that the economy is heating up, the central bank wants to head off higher inflation. If interest rates don't go up, will keep on borrowing and the economy might start running too hot. But if they go up too fast, it could hurt people with big debts and mortgages. It's always better to serve while you're ahead, right? 